Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Welcome back. Okay, we're going to do another video today um, just so we won't have to stall out and, you know, it'd be a long time before I put out another video. So I want to keep it really um, consistent because this is the time in the markets where it's a lot of opportunity. And this is around the time, well, the market it's in the condition that when we first started this channel, it was like this, you know, it was, um, if not lower, you know, the prices were actually lower. So um, we, we built this channel in a bear market. So it's only right that we um, walk through the bear market with all of our original subscribers. So if you, um, new to the channel, please like this video, subscribe to the video and share it so that it can be spread out to all of these crypto holders who might be a little confused on what's happening. So we're going to walk through some of this um, just crazy, 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 insane drops and losses that's going on. And, you know, you got a lot of things going on in crypto. So we're going to walk through it today. You know, I'm going to try to make this video really quick, but I do want to walk through some of these cryptos and just talk about where they are, um, if they're even worth keeping, you know, or even keeping on a watch list, you know. So we're going to get started right now, and we're going to take a look at this market cap. So let me spread the screen a little bit so it comes up a little bigger. All right. so. Currently, the market cap is sitting at 878. Now, if you are an OG to this channel, you know that I always advocate for the price range of the market cap to be above 800. So it is above that. But the thing is, we're in a downward trend and it's going to definitely go below this. And that is just a terrible time for the crypto market. So um, just keep that in mind whenever you're making decisions when it comes to crypto. But, um, you know, we're just in a bad space uh, globally because of a lot of things that's happening. We're just getting out of COVID, you know. With that being said, a lot of the economies all over the world they pumped up their economies during the COVID lockdowns and things of that nature. So now they have to do quantitative easing because of the high inflation of everything. You know, prices, gas, food is 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 out of out of control. Gas is all all out of control. Um, just you name it. You know, and pretty soon we're going to have the housing market to to add along to the to the uh, misery of this economy collapsing. Um, well, not so much the economy collapsing, but the markets collapsing. Okay, so we got the market cap sitting a little bit over eight right now. And let's take a look at Bitcoin, which is the leader of all the cryptos. And you can see here, it's got rock coming from around 31 and some change to now 20,000. You know, and you can just do the math quickly in your head and see that, you know, it, it lost well over 10, well over $10,000. I'm talking about within a span of a week, you know, so it's still more pain to come for the markets because some of these cryptos are still, believe it or not, in profit. And I'm just going to point out one, Cardano. So if you look at Cardano's, um, it's, it's currently sitting at 47 cent, but you can see here that the ROI on it is still over 2000%. So that has to come down. You know, it's not going to, if it keeps these price levels, then, you know, this is a very good crypto that, you, you know, maintain majority of its um, increase. So that's something to look at because it's it's been hovering around this half a dollar mark 
for some time since the drop, but if it holds, you know, maybe go, maybe go 30, 25 cent and just hold around there. But if this thing goes back to like five cent, four cent, once upon a time, I seen those type of prices, then um, that'll definitely be somewhere near the bottom. Okay. So you can just look at like certain cryptos where they priced at, and you can tell that we're nowhere near the bottom of this market. So let's just continue to just scroll down. We're not going to, I'm going to talk about the channel's favorite cryptos, but we're going to just scroll down and look at some of this, this pain that's going on. And you can see Ethereum is about to sneak under a thousand dollars. So if you liked Ethereum once upon a time, these are opportunities that's going to present themselves the, you know, the second time around. Um, but what I would say is that, uh, you know, it's no guarantee that any of these cryptos will regain their all-time highs like they just made. So keep that in mind too. So we got Tron right here coming in at number 15 on CoinMarketCap list. And the last seven days, it's been down 34%. Uh, let's just see some real tragic. So we got a lot of 30s, uh, crypto.coms, native coin, Kronos is 10 cent right now. Um, Algorand, 25, 24%. Um, it's at 31. This was at a dollar once upon a time, a couple of months ago. So yeah, these, all these cryptos are rock right now. Absolutely rock. So you know, um, this is just what a bear market is. And, you know, you can see that a lot of influencers, a lot of people who knew to crypto that, you know, had a lot to say in a bull market, but nobody's around anymore for any of this. But, you know, this is part of the game. So you just got to keep your powder dry and continue to uh, do your research, check up on these companies. If you, if you, you know, if you're an investor in them, you might want to reach out to the front office and see if you can make contact just to find out anything new, because um, I just believe that, and this is my opinion, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but I do believe that this uh, market is going to last a little bit. This bear market is going to last. It's no reason for cryptos to turn around and miss everything that's going on. So, you know, some of this stuff has to subside, you know, like they have to get inflation under control. We got a war still looming. That needs to be, you know, straightened out and just things needs to be straightened out before the market can turn around. So in my projection, I see like late October or even late November, as possibly the start of the turnaround for the markets, all markets at that. Now that's where usually some money will be available. People tend to spend during the holiday season. So, you know, these things can help the market. And then especially if we get to that point and, um, you know, in the United States, the Fed uh, stops the, the quantitative easing of the market you know, and exercise a little bit more, just not so hawkish, you know what I'm saying? So we we hope to see that, but until then, this is just, you know, you you just got to stand on the sidelines for this right now. That's all I, that's all I, you know, that's all you can do because if you get involved, you're going to get burnt. So we take Dent, which is one of our channel's favorites, um, when we introduced this crypto to the channel, like two years ago, it was 0. 0.0001. So now it's sitting at 0. 0.0008. Still got some ways, you know, maybe 40, 50%. Um, but uh, yeah, it's going to be good opportunities to pluck some of these cryptos out get your bags nice and swollen and, and, you know, and make some things happen. So, 
Uh, you can see the sentiment in, inside of uh, Dent. People are like, you know, you better start buying now. This is a chance of a lifetime, you know. But again, I think if you get in now, you, you still face a little bit of exposure, you know, to, to the downside. So I'll just be patient. Like I said, keep your powder dry. This is 31% still. So, you know, it's still up if you got in at those levels when we first introduced this crypto, it, it, you know, it's still up, but, you know, it's not too far from going into red. And once we see red blood in the water, that's when it's time to eat, okay? So um, that's Dent. Let's try to get through some of these, uh, some of our favorite cryptos that we like to watch on this channel. Ooh, look at this one, Ken. Ken coin is, currently ranked 540 on coin market cap um the volume is just under a half a million and like this crypto you can see it's already lost all of the gains that it once had and now you can see it's 87.99% down in the red you know so again we preach this time and time of day over this on this channel you know how to scout these cryptos and um we're going to put together uh a nice kind of video tutorial walking you through how to set up an account on exchanges what exchanges are the best ones to actually work with and we're going to give some more information so um subscribe to this video so you can be one of the first people to sign up for this mini course that we're gonna put out in the next couple of weeks. Um, and it's just gonna give you, it's gonna be packed with information to get you started in crypto and help you navigate these waters. Cause you can see it's bloody waters all over the place. And it's definitely um, dangerous to come into the space and not know what's going on. So we're going to have a nice beacon of information for you to tap into and, you know, keep that in mind. So there you go. And uh, let's get back to looking at some of these cryptos. So um, I think in Ethereum is an interesting one, but I would like to see this go down just a little bit more, possibly to, you know, five, six hundred dollars, even four. In anywhere between four to six, I think uh, this is a fantastic opportunity, okay? So, um, yeah, I just want, it's really nothing happening in the market. The market is really, really bad right now. Um, if you're not looking to DCA into anything, then I would just stand on the sidelines, get my bucket of cryptos that I'm going to keep an eye on and just sit on the sidelines. It'll cost you nothing. You know, it'll cost you nothing to sit on the sidelines. Do your due diligence while you're waiting, do your research. And when the time is right, you know, you strike, but there's really, really nothing going on. Some of these cryptos are getting butchered right now. Um, our most recent video, which is a video that has a lot of views on it, and it was mostly about this crypto, which is UFO Gaming. So UFO Gaming is 528 on coin market cap list. It's currently one, two, three, four, five, six zeros after the decimal. So it's in the six zero eight range. Um, you know, this is now it's like no different from uh like you know any other mean token that usually have a bunch of zeros tacked on after the decimal now it's sitting in that territory and um but the thing is with this it has you know it has some development on it it has a nice size uh holders list that really hasn't gone anywhere but you know, it's still a fairly new crypto as well. So we want to keep that in mind. Uh, let's see if they have any new news coming out. 
And another thing, when you're checking these guys or these companies, um, social media handles, don't expect to see a lot of lively things going on because, you know, it's just a bear market. So it's really nothing to talk about. That'll be exciting. So you can see here, their latest post was June 10th. It's now on the 15th. So that was five days ago. And uh, yeah, so it's really nothing to really talk about. So I don't think, um, I don't think, and then, you know, we're in the summer months ahead of us. So a lot of vacation and a lot of these companies, top executives and developers, they're going on vacation. So things are going to get really, really stale for these next couple of months. Um, so there you have it. And uh, yeah, it's just really, just a sour note, but like I said, that you know, when people are not paying attention to the market, usually that's when it's going to start to turn around. So everything is really kind of looking at crypto right now. Even most of the heavy big news channels, they're watching the fall of Bitcoin, despite the stock market is uh, falling just as well. You know, the, a lot of the news is reporting Bitcoin as the you know, fallen knife, so to speak. Um, all right, so let's take a look at this one, this crypto, which um, I do also want to talk about. I've seen in a video from an influencer, and I'll leave the link in the description, who, who got a hold of some of the paperwork for the new crypto bill that's about to go through in Congress. And one of the interesting things that was in the bill is ancillary uh, cryptos. So they got a definition for it. And basically what it is, is a crypto that, uh, well, I'll just put this in, in a video and leave the link to the whole video so you can watch it in its entirety. But this is basically what got my attention, that, you know, cryptos that are not securities are basically, if this passed, it hasn't passed yet, but more than likely the language would be adopted, even if the bill gets rebuilt, you know, and basically cryptos that are not securities, you know, have a free passageway, you know, you won't get taxed according to this bill and how I perceived it. Um, you won't get taxed moving your cryptos around like they have it now where everything is sort of a taxable event. But, uh, you know, it only gets taxed once it turns into fiat. So while it's in crypto, it's crypto, you know, but once it comes into fiat, then you get your tax. So I think a lot of crypto uh, enthusiasts will like that part. And also the miners, hands off the miners according to this bill, right? No taxes for the uh, crypto that you, that you create during the mining process, only when converted to fiat. So if that part of the bill sticks, it's going to be a fantastic time for crypto. But I said all of that to say Electronium has always been ahead of the curve. And despite how raggedy the price movement been and how raggedy at the end that this company has gotten as far as you know keeping the community up to date um just making sure their brand stay relevant with news and things like that they just like kind of disappeared but the crypto still here the blockchain still works it's one of the safest blockchains and you know, they're already ahead of all the regulatory um, jargon that's going to be coming down the pipeline soon. And I like this crypto for that very reason. But also, I wanted to bring this one up. So we got Verge pulled up here. And Verge is like a silent, consistent crypto that I've been watching for some years now. And it always does what it does when the market is right, of course. So this is the type of crypto that won't get left out in the dark if uh, 
you know, things turn around for the space. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention. It's really nothing to talk about. Um, you know, it's a real crappy market. Everything is down. Uh, you know, as far as I can see, I don't see any turnaround no time soon. I just see more pain. But uh, in the meantime, we're going to be around. We're going to be talking about cryptos. We're going to bring some cryptos that uh, are, are, you know, relevant that should be on your radar. And then we're going to talk about also mining. So mining has, has not been lucrative since this crash. So a lot of miners are probably going offline just to save money because it's just not worth mining at the moment. But uh, we're going to be talking about some new miners, how cheap they are. We're going to go over some websites where you can purchase miners if you're interested. And uh, that's about it. That's about it for this video. I'm not going to talk too much about nothing. So nothing's going on. And if I see something interesting, I'll bring it to you in the next video. But until then, I'll holler at y'all later.